Hey everybody, today we're working on another uh, Suzu NPR. It's an HD, a 2018 model, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do an oil change real quick. It's, it's a V8, six liter engine. Uh, let's get started. The tools you're gonna need today are a 15 millimeter wrench. I use a ratchet wrench, it's a little bit easier. Uh, your oil filter, six quarts of 5W30 oil, brake cleaner, paper towels, and an oil filter wrench. Right underneath the driver's side of the vehicle, your drain plug and your oil filter right next to one another. Start out by loosening your drain plug, drain all the oil out. This is where you're gonna use your 15 millimeter wrench. You don't have to use a ratchet wrench, but I choose to just because it's much easier. Get that oil draining. Then you can go around and do your other maintenance procedures, lube your drive shaft. I'll make an additional video um, on everything that I do on a regular oil change because typically when you bring a vehicle in for an oil change, you're gonna be doing way more maintenance procedures. Uh, but strictly for time's sake in this video, we're just going to be doing the oil change. Once the oil's out of the Oil pan, reinstall your drain plug. Snug it up. 15 millimeter. Remove your oil filter. I suggest putting some rubber gloves on for this. You don't have to, but. Let that all drain out. While you're waiting, you can get your new oil filter. I'm using a Wix oil filter. Five seven zero six zero. I'll put a link for the oil filter, oil capacity, and oil type in the description. If you find this video helpful, the end. Anyway, hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Before you put your new oil filter on, lubricate your new o-ring save yourself some trouble or the next guy some trouble in the future doing that once the seal makes contact do another three quarters of a turn Don't ever tighten this thing as tight as you can with the oil filter wrench or you will be kicking yourself in the butt the next time you go to do an oil change. But the way this oil filter sits up in here, I usually take my wrench and just tighten it up at three quarters of a turn. And then you're gonna take brake cleaner, clean everything down so you're not dripping in your driveway, customer's driveway, etc. You're pretty much done with everything underneath the vehicle. I'm gonna go up top and finish her up. 
Now that you're done underneath the vehicle, your drain plug's tight, your oil filter's tight, you need to come up to the cab. Always, always, always make sure that there's nothing inside the vehicle that can fly forward when you raise the tilt cab that's gonna bust out your windshield. So what you're gonna do is pull this first locking mechanism down with your left hand. While you're holding that, release your next mechanism, then pull on the last one and raise it up. After you lift the cab, you come around to the other side of the vehicle. Uh, the, I've already got the oil cap off, like I told you before. It takes Dexos 5W30. The oil capacity is six quarts. Add your six quarts of oil, replace your cap, lower the cab, start the vehicle, let it run for a couple minutes, raise your cab back up, check your dipstick, make sure your oil level is correct, and you are good to go.